Hello, and welcome to another fun-filled Sunday. Fuck off, asshole! Leave me alone! Don't you know it's fucking Sunday? Today, what we're going to do, actually, is we're going to play. <clears throat> I mean, effectively, we are going to patch, but what we're going to do is actually open up the instrument that we had, um, that we were working on, um, you know, in the previous episode. So, I'm going to go to the folder I created, My Racks, and open up... The instrument here, and here we are, pretty much right back where... In the pre... where right where we left off in the previous episode. So, <clears throat> what I'm going to do is do a little game changer. Poof! <gasps> what happened? Those are gone. So I'm going to go ahead and um, now we need to do a little bit of patching and that's okay. We're just going to skip the effects loop. And that's fine. But what we're actually going to do is we're going to make things interesting. So first off, we're going to do uh, some sequencing. So uh, we're going to get ourselves set up for a nice tall interface here. And uh, we're going to add a sequencer or two or five. And I guess, I mean, <laughs> we'll see. Um, but we're going to plop this guy. Right in the middle. Uh, well, under this. And then this mixer should go down here, ideally, actually. Mixer and effects and stuff should go towards the bottom, I guess. That's how my brain's working it out, anyway. Uh, I also want to add a uh, clock divider, so I'm going to go ahead and add that guy. Uh, and let's patch the gate from the clock into um, the clock divider. I'm going to use an internal so that I can control it and I can hit play and I can do it whenever I want. And the reset and all that good stuff, I'm going to go ahead and patch these in as well. Uh, so that's that should be good to go. That way I can hit play. So uh, that's pretty good, and I can drag these up and down and do whatever, do whatever I want with these. Uh, but for now, what I'm going to do is start using the pitch from the sequencer to control the pitch of the um. The pit, you know what I mean, the pitch of the oscillators. So I'm going to go ahead and hit play and see if we can start getting some sound. Now we also need to uh, patch the gate in, so this has no gate signal at this point. So uh, let's patch in some kind of gate signal. And there we go. Now this is working. And let's patch the gate out so that now the gate is responding to not the gate from the uh, note in or, you know, the keyboard, but we're going to use the gate signal from the actual, um, from the sequencer in this case, which is just getting it from the clock divider. I could also just use the clock divider as well. So that's all, always an option.
So what we want to do is start hearing some sound. Let's just figure out what I got going on here. don't have a good uh, pitch. It's just too low. See. I hear no difference in the pitch as I'm sliding it up and down, so trying to figure this out. Definitely getting sound, which is good. Duh. So turn on the gate. That ought to do it, right? Hello.
So we got some sound.
We got some in here that's pretty cool. Just keep going. I'm gonna go ahead and call it out in the structure view. That way I know 